Welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm your host, Jim Dempsey. Well, here we are into the beginning of December and we're getting closer and closer to year end. It's an exciting time of the year as things start to pick up. Activities start to hasten and uh, it just seems like everything is just moving so much quicker. If you're doing everything that I've talked about in the videos, you're doing a year-end strategy, by now you should have your letter out in the mail and it should be about time for you to begin calling your partners and finding out what their responses are making sure that they number one got your letter number two if they didn't get the letter then you'll want to cover what the topics were and number three make sure that you challenge them and the letter should if done correctly should do a good job of getting them to a point where they're at least ready to make a decision and then all you need to do is just push them a little bit further to make that decision. So I hope that you're at that point where you're ready to start calling your partners or maybe even begun to start calling your partners already. And then look for opportunities to begin to go face to face with some of your, your critical few, your major donors, and that's really important. Just know that I'm here to help you with all your year-end strategy needs. I've created a playlist that I'll put out here that highlights all year-end strategies and will continue to add new ideas and new elements throughout the presentation. The uh, next top five mistakes video that came out this last Tuesday was really well received and uh, I hope if you haven't had a chance to look at it, you'll go out there and do that. Well, let's dive into our question for the day. Our question for the day is from JP in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And JP says, if I have an event this spring, should I start promoting it now or wait until January 1st? Well, JP, that is a great question. And I've had that so often. And some of it does depend on when you do your event. If you have got an event that is in May, you might not necessarily need to be promoting it too much here in December. But I can definitely tell you that if you've got an event in March or April, it is not too late right now to at least be getting an email save the date out to people. And you might also be getting some kind of a mail save the date out to people at this time. Now, we're starting to get to some of the busiest mail months of the year with Christmas cards, letters, and appeals from everyone. And so this might not necessarily be the best month to do a hard copy mail save the date, but it definitely is a good time to start getting out a save the date email to people about your event. Now, one thing that a lot of nonprofit organizations miss is the opportunity at year end to recruit table hosts. And the, the, the challenge that exists is that this is a busy time of the year and most of the challenging for table hosts generally ends right before Thanksgiving and then picks up again after January 1. But if you are actually doing a year-end strategy and you actually have some partners on the phone that you're going to talk with them no matter what about their letter, the letter that you sent, or their year-end giving, it's a great next step. Don't give them an alternative, but a nice next step. Mr. Jones, thank you for your gift of $5,000. It's going to make a big difference. I just need to ask you one other question. Do you have April 20th available in your calendar? I would love for you to be a table host at our dinner this year. And you wouldn't need to start asking your friends now. You could wait till after January 1. But I'd like to get it on your calendar and I'd like for you to make a commitment now if you're able to be a table host at our event. That's all you need to really do at that point. Now they may say that I need to talk with my spouse or that I need to get back with you. 
The same applies as any other principle that we've taught, uh, that I've taught on this channel. It's just so important that you make sure that you don't leave the decision to get back to you in their court. I generally will say to them, wow, this is a busy time of the year. If it's okay with you, I would like to go ahead and try and reach out to you. Can I try calling you next Tuesday? Or can I try calling you next Thursday? Will that work? What's a good time for me to try and call you in the daytime? Those are the things that are so important within this process. So number one, at a minimum, you ought to be doing an email. You could consider some hard copy, save the dates, but I'd probably wait until just after the first of the year for those. Uh, but as you're calling people, you need to make sure that you are looking in addition to asking for a gift and also with meeting with people, look for that opportunity to challenge those people to be table hosts. It's just a great time. There's no guarantee you're going to get people just after the first of the year while you've got them on the phone, strike while the iron's hot. And it's so important to begin that process now. So JP, it is not too early to begin marketing your event, especially if it's in March and April. And it's, uh, it's wise of you and smart to begin thinking about the marketing process right now. No matter where you're at in the whole process, even if, it's, even if you haven't necessarily nailed down the speaker and some other elements of the program, if you've got the date and you've got the venue, you are good to go at that point. So I would do that. So JP, I hope that helped. I hope this uh, video will give you a little guidance and I hope those who are watching will also get some good instruction and at least some tips on what would be recommended for marketing at this point in time. If you like what you heard today, please be sure to subscribe. We are a growing life changer community and I am so excited. We've got so many opportunities, not only on this YouTube channel, please subscribe to the channel. Just go down and click the subscribe button and be sure to hit the all bell and make sure that as you're out on other social media platforms, look for Facebook, look for us. We've got a growing life changer community, group that's out there, please make sure that you go out to Life Changer. And you can reach me out on Instagram at Jim W. Dempsey. And also on Twitter, you can reach me at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. So I look forward to hearing what your results are in your end. Please drop those in the comments. And as I always say, we're here to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you next week and watch the next video.